Hello, welcome to another Jesse's Academy. Today we are gonna be um, painting this cupcake, cupcake. So let's get started. So the things you'll need will be this cupcake thing. You can make your own out of clay, but I got this one in the store, and it came with the paint palettes and the brushes, but I didn't like those colors. So I went ahead and I got these um, acrylic paints. I got this tan color, and I got this bright orange you're also gonna need a paintbrush you can only use you could use one or in my intent i'm using two um and a bowl of water that is optional that's why i have two paintbrushes to to um for me not to use water so the first thing you want to do is get your um cupcake and um in the bottom this is a piggy bank as you could tell so in the bottom i'm gonna um i'm gonna rip not rip off but take out the um take out the bottom piece that holds all the coins in because i don't want to paint that and if i paint that it ain't gonna come that pretty so that's why i'm gonna take it out so let's take this baby up so i'm gonna set this up to the side and as you can tell i'm working in a white place that I don't really care if it gets dirty if you're working in a place that you don't have nothing any furniture that you don't care about just put some wax paper wax paper on top or press and seal or clear transparent paper or aluminum foil so the first thing you want to do is get your um, acrylic paint or whatever paint you're using and like I don't like spilling mines on the counter I just Um, put some on the tops so this one can't even open so I'm just gonna put this on a piece of tape So I'm going to use different colors for the different parts. I'm using a cupcake, so the orange is going to be the, um, frosting, and the this tan color is going to be the cupcake mold. So I'm going to start with the frosting, because that's the biggest part, and I'm just going to paint it on and on. And like cupcake isn't a, a cupcake frosting isn't smooth. Lucky for me, it's supposed to look rustic and unfinished. Well, not unfinished, but it's supposed to look detail ordered. So that what that detail order it order it means is just it has um, texture to it and it's very detailed. Well, it's not that detailed unless you put sprinkles and you see a baker with smooth um frosting but in my intent here in my city we don't have people like that um that's usually like in california or in other states so i'm gonna paint this on and i'll come back to show you the top part finished okay so now that i painted the top of my um cupcake which is basically the frosting i'm gonna now how you could tell i taped it on the bottom so what i'm gonna do is remove it um remove the tape so i could get a nice um a nice look on my cupcake so so mm, i'm done with that and i'm gonna start um, painting my cupcake liner so I could be done if you have some frosting paint on the bottom of um, where you're supposed to be painting it another color doesn't matter you could just um, paint it over and twice there and you're gonna get that nice look um, but, like how I was saying, if you put a tape, that wouldn't happen. But, 
It doesn't matter, that's just optional of the tape part. So I'm gonna finish painting this and I'm gonna be done with the coloring. Okay, so now as you can tell, I am done with my cupcake. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys that you guys could do with the brush. What I'm going to show you is go with the brush and go like that for it to look like sprinkles. But I don't want to right now. But I just want to thank you guys for a lot of um. Um, thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to like it. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to join the other studs. That's my channel. Don't forget to and don't forget to like this video. I hope I'm gonna see I see you guys next Friday. I'm gonna see you guys next Friday. Bye!